So first of all attach the mini tripod to the G6, leave it on a table and get the plate screw mount from the little black box. You find two I believe, just get to one of them. The plate on the other hand has three holes, use the middle one if your camera weight is on average. But for this test, I'm gonna use the first hole to show you what's gonna happen in a couple minutes. So fix the plate to the camera and prepare yourself to the next step. Slide the camera on the gimbal plate and make sure to lock the plate screw knob. So firstly start balancing the roll axis. Release the knob ring and slide the camera with the roll axis to the right side until it's balanced. Lock the knob ring and move on to balance the tilt axis. Slide the tilt axis until it's balanced facing up. Lock the knob ring and jump to balance the slider plate. Release the adapter thumb screw and slide the camera forward or backward until it's balanced properly. So in my case, I cannot move the camera forward enough when balancing. And in order to do that, we have to unmount the camera and adjust the plate position again. That's what I wanted to show you a minute ago. So unscrew the plate screw mount and put it in the second hole. The first and third holes work on different camera weight. So if you are using Sony A6000 series with the kit lens, always go for the second hole. Wait, 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 wait. Make sure to pull up the screen a little bit before fixing the plate in, otherwise the screen will be totally locked and cannot be moved up. Mount the camera back again and balance it until it's facing forward. Lock the screw knob and make sure to readjust the other axis, tilt and roll axis. And finally, never forget to adjust the pan axis. Hold the gimbal and position the handle horizontally. Release the pan knob ring and slide the axis in or out until it's balanced horizontally. Make sure to lock the knob ring properly and prepare yourself to run the gimbal on. Alright, so jump to Feu on app on your smartphone and connect to G6 Plus gimbal. Make sure the Bluetooth is turned on. Click the camera icon, select your camera, select the camera Wi Fi, and if your camera Wi Fi is not showing, jump to the camera menu. Go to network page 1 and turn on control with the smartphone. Scroll to the next one and click on connection. Alright, jump back to the app and select the camera Wi-Fi. And on the camera click the C2 bin button to show the Wi-Fi password. You're connected. It might show that you are not connected on the app, but when looking to the gimbal screen you see the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi icons are activated. So click the record button and it's working perfectly. Thank you for watching guys and on this channel we make photography and filmmaking gear reviews. So consider subscribing for more. This is Oma and see you in another one.